Give us your name, sir, and the town that you're from. I'm James Hamilton from Smyrna, Georgia. What happened to you through this ministry? Well, you called me up from the audience and uh, told me I had a bad stomach. Well, was that right? That was correct. Okay. And the they Lord had told me about me in the you. hospital to treat me for a bad stomach and found I had a golf ball-sized lung cancer. Oh. And I come back up on the stage to you for that. And uh, when I went back to my doctors, they hadn't been able to find it. They couldn't find that cancer? That was two years ago. That was two years ago. And he went back to the doctor, I like that, to get a medical report. Understand, this ministry believes in good doctors, good medicines, good hospitals, good nurses. I appreciate people that will help people, don't you? But when man's done all he can do, when woman's done all she can do, there is God to do the rest for us. And the Lord heals you of that he cancer. Sure that's great. I love all of them. God bless you, sir. That's wonderful. Healed of cancer. Your name and the town that you're from. Kathleen Horn. What happened to you? Fayetteville, North Carolina. Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm your bus captain. <laughs> yes, you are. Our bus captain and doing a great job there. All in the deep in. Yep. <laughs> All right. What happened to you through this ministry? Which one? I've had several. <laughs> well, just tell a couple of the... Well, the first you're... one I had, I've tried all my life to lose weight. And last November when you were in Fayetteville, I asked the Lord to help me lose weight. And since the 30th of last August, I've lost 14 dress sizes and 152 pounds. I've got 70 pounds to go. 152 pounds, 70 pounds yet to go. Isn't that beautiful? 152 pounds. And God it, did it. Yes, and God you just, did it. You just couldn't get your weight down. And I'm not even dieting. You're not even dieting. No. God is doing I'm it for <laughs> her. It's a miracle from God. And she's lost 152 pounds. And this lady has brought ever so many people to the Ernest Ainsley Crusades in different cities, haven't she? And I want to thank you for that call Monday night. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Our counselors are on duty, I'll tell you, when you, things are happening when people call. It's great. Your name and the town that you're from. My name is Sherman Berry from Swanee, Georgia. What happened to you through this ministry? Well, uh, about four or five years ago, Brother Angley, I was lifted up by three men over here at, at this corner. And I was coming up here just like this. You couldn't walk? I couldn't walk. Oh, and, my God. Uh, you said... Uh, I see your, this in your vision. And he said, bend over. And I bend over. And whenever you said, run, not, you run me across this stage about three times. And says, I couldn't, I, I'd hate to catch you now. And now I'm just as happy as free as... <laughs> this is just wonderful. And I dance. And three men were helping you up. Yes. What about that? Three men helping him, trying to get him up to this platform. And, and God made him whole. And you, you better decide he's whole way he's acting today. He's acting like a young boy, isn't he? That's right. Isn't that great? God That's did great. it. We appreciate God doing that. God can do for you what no other power can do. Hello. Your name and the town that you are from. Mary Maddox, Stone Mountain, Georgia. What happened to you through this ministry? You prayed for me on your last November visit. And you, I had so many things wrong with me. I was shaking all over. I didn't ask for anything but my, I mean, with the thought of my hands, because they hurt so bad. What, what did arthritis in your hands? <laughs> yes, my fingers. Your fingers. And so, that's all you really asked for? All well, no, were... I, did, I asked for a lot of things, but I wasn't expecting everything. You wasn't expecting everything? I just needed this right then. Uh-huh. But I didn't get a healing right then. As you've seen, some people don't. Well, it starts a, at that time. I it, felt like it. it. Uh -huh. because when it starts at that time then over a period of time sometimes it'll be a while before a person is completely well that they can tell it from the outside but it. healing begins on the inside in that very moment i know it uh that day i had a terrible pain in my chest and my husband kept asking if i wanted the medication i said no i came for healing i'll wait so i waited but i fell back in the spirit when you put you your were hand up in the spirit you didn't touch me, I don't think. I, I didn't just touch you that you know of. You no. just fell in the spirit. Some no. people think I push them down. No. But it isn't true, is it? No. No, and it's the power I, of the Holy when Spirit. When I came to, I was hot all over. 
just like I was burning. But uh, I went back to the seat and I asked my husband how I looked. He said a little flushed. So after we went home, I still had pain on the way home, and he asked me if I wanted more, me if I wanted any medicine. I said no. I'd wait. So I kind of forgot about it. And well, the pain must have lifted if you did. kindly forgot about it. Well, it well, did. good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I found out later that I had been healed. That you had your healing. I was really. In other words, happy. she said, "I didn't know I was really healed. I had some more pain after the." <laughs> After you, lay, after you prayed for me, she doesn't remember that I even touched her. She <laughs> fell in the spirit, and she had some pain going home, and then she forgot all about it. And then she woke up to the fact, I got a healing. Well, yes, I she have did. always had a headache, too. And I, all your I, life, you've had a headache. I, I've never had to take any more medication for the angina or the headache since Christmas. God did it. <laughs> That's <laughs> yes, great. With your help. I'm glad that you got your miracle. Your name, sir, and the town that you're Jack from. Jack Childs, East Point, Georgia. What happened to you through this ministry? Well, uh, last summer I went to the doctor for my checkup, and he said he, you, you got low blood, you got low red cells, and, and so he went back to the laboratory again, and he come back and still way short on red corpuscle in my blood. So he gave me medicine a couple of times, and I changed it over once, and then I came to your service here last fall. And I asked you, said, Reverend Lane, would you pray for me? I don't have enough red blood uh, cells. And you did. I called, I went to the doctor, and they took my blood again on Tuesday. I called the doctor, and he said, Mr. Child, you're fine. I said, what? He said, you're fine. I said, the Lord done it. He did, did it? Yeah, the Lord did it, yes, sir. And well, I he had made it. He made the first Adam. He can certainly heal this Adam. He certainly can. He did it, too. <laughs> and he did. Thank you, sir. Do you believe in miracles? You believe in God, don't you? And you believe he has all power? I see God working in your body. He's working in your back. Something is happening to you. He'll deliver you. Stand to your feet. <clears throat> Start walking toward me. You got a miracle. You got a miracle. <clears throat> you got a miracle. I'm coming down to you. It's great that you're here today. Smoke also. Yeah, you're going to be delivered from smoking. You'll be delivered from the drugs. The Lord will set you free. She's out of her wheelchair. She had. She has a miracle. She had a crushed oh, ankle, her back in a terrible condition. Thank God you, is Lord. doing it. Isn't this wonderful? God has done it. He is God. He is God. And now move that back and see what God did for that. Check that back. You got it. It's yours. Check it. Check it. Isn't that great? Great. God did it. Say, oh God. Oh God. Thanks for my miracle. Thanks for my miracle. Thanks for delivering me. Thanks for delivering me. From the cigarette habit. From the cigarette habit. I will never smoke again. I will never smoke again. I will not use drugs anymore. I will not use drugs anymore. Only for medical purposes. Only for medical purposes. I'm going to serve the Lord. I'm going to serve the Lord. I believe. I believe. Jesus died for me. Jesus died for me. And I know there's power. And I know there's power. In the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Say, come in, Jesus. Come in, Jesus. Come in, Jesus. Come in, Jesus. Oh, he's coming come in. in. He's coming in. Oh. And I command her to never crave nicotine again. In the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thanks for her miracle. Oh, that was stand still a minute then. I didn't know the husband's crippled. Stand still just a moment. He's coming on out of here. He had to use two canes. Two walkers you had to use. I didn't know the husband. This is her husband. He had to use two walkers. The power of God's moving through him. I've had brain surgery uh -huh. about five times because... You've had of five brain surgeries. Yes. Sir, come on this way. You got a miracle. You got a miracle. Amen. Amen. He had to use two walkers to be able to walk. 
for while God was healing that wife of his, he knew God was in this place, didn't you, sir? Yes, sir. Amen. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this great? Oh, <laughs> praise the Lord. That's right. Husband and wife, both crippled and healed by the power of God. One in a wheelchair, the other one. Bring them out here. Let's show the people what he had to use. This is what he had to use to get along. These... Isn't this wonderful? This is what he had to use, people. This is it. Come on, sir. Come on, wife and husband. Both been healed today. Both of them got a fantastic miracle from God. This is the power of Jehovah God. Ernest Ainsley had nothing to do with it. This is God's work. This is God. Isn't this beautiful? Isn't this just great? Husband and wife. One came in a wheelchair, the other one came hobbling on these. She doesn't have to have her wheelchair, and he doesn't have to have these. When, yeah. when we went to get married, we asked the preacher if he could take two wrongs and make a right out of it. And I think he has. <laughs> <laughs> well, God fixed it up. God did it. Are you born again? Yes, sir. And do you smoke? No, I quit five years ago. All right. Lord, we thank you. Amen. You felt that, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you got your miracle. Great. Isn't that thank great? You, Give God a great big hand, people. <laughs> Hold her just a minute. This lady has just got now the wheelchair. Ever mind on God. Yes, lady, I see your condition. It was very, very severe. But it is moving. It's moving out. It is moving out. It's moving out. Yay! Yeah, in the name of the Lord, I call a miracle to that precious lady. I call a miracle. I call a miracle. I see God moving for you. You're ready to, you're ready to walk with me? Remember how you used to walk before you had to use a wheelchair? <laughs> Here you go. You're on your way. I just the, had a stroke for huh? you. I just had yeah. a stroke But well, God's for moving for you. Did you know that? I yeah. saw God moving for you in the vision. She had had a stroke. God's moving for her. God is moving. You're on your way out of the valley now. That's the little brain surgery. Uh -huh. Well, you come right on. The Lord will recreate all of those brain cells that's been damaged, though, you know. Oh, thank God. Isn't it wonderful the way the Lord's delivering stroke victims? Isn't it great? It's really wonderful. It's really wonderful. Oh, son, isn't this great to see Mama on her way out of the valley? Oh, glory. Son and Mama. Amen. Isn't this wonderful? Doesn't this touch your heart? Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I commend all the muscles and the nerves to be recreated, all the brain cells that's been destroyed through the stroke to be recreated. Son, are you born again? But you're going to be, aren't you? Seeing God move for Mama, you know God loves you. And you love Mama, don't you? Do you smoke? Got any cigarettes on you? All right, get them out and throw them down and no more smoking. Okay? Wonderful. Just throw them down. Say, oh God, thanks for the way you're helping my mother. I know you love her too, Lord. And I'm going to serve you, God. I want to serve the God who can do things for us and who really loves us. I will never smoke again. I believe Jesus died for me and I will serve him. Say, come in, Jesus. Come in, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Seem completely. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. I'll tell you, it's wonderful to feel God's presence like that. It's great. Son, wasn't that something? Yes, it was. That amazed you, didn't it? Yes, it did. I knew it. You'll never forget this day. You'll never forget that experience you just now had with the Lord. God bless you. That's great. Welcome into the kingdom. <laughs> oh, amen. This guy, are you born again? Really? Then you know him. Yeah, I know him. 
I know. You know the healer? Yeah. It's great to know the healer, isn't it? Sure is. And his name is? Jesus. Jesus. I like that. Don't you talk about the healer? Do you smoke? Every once in a while. Every once in a while. Any time you take a notion, where are they? Oh, I don't talk none. You don't bring them in here, huh? I don't talk no time. Don't you ever smoke again? Okay. Loose him in the name of Jesus, son of the living God. You ready? Yeah. Ready? Get up his steps. Well, you come on. Now, listen, I want you to wait just a minute. You know how you used to walk before you had this foul affliction? Yeah. You know how good you could get about? Yeah. I want you to just see yourself through faith like that right now. Right now. And say, Jesus, here I come. Come on. Out of that wheelchair and come on. Out of there. Come on. Here we go. Praise the Lord. Amen. Here he comes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. It works. It's real, people. It's real. Here Isn't God? <laughs> here I come, Jesus. Jesus. Here I come, Jesus. Jesus. Here, I come. Here I come. Glory be to God. Here he comes, people. Here he comes. We're getting a miracle, aren't we? We're getting a miracle. Oh, you hold back your feet as much as you can, people. We're coming through. We are coming through. We are coming through. Here I come, Jesus. Here I come, Jesus. Here I come, Here Jesus. I come, Jesus. Yes. Here I come, Jesus. Yes. Isn't the Lord wonderful, people? Isn't he great? Don't you love the Lord when you see him performing miracles? Uh, and here I come, Jesus. Just go right back there. There he goes. Praise the Lord. 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 There you go, fella. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Isn't Lord wonderful? Isn't he great? Thank God. Well, you stand in front of that wheelchair. When I touch you, you're liable to fall in the spirit. And you'll have a place to land. <laughs> you ready? Can't ever smoke again. Isn't that good news? Yeah. Oh, in the name of the Lord, I command him to never crave nicotine again. I curse that foul spirit casting it from your body for it to never be able to afflict you again and for good health to be yours. Yay! Oh, glory be to God. I believe you'll get all right, don't yeah, you? They will. How about that? What do you think about this, wife? Isn't this a great it's day? It's wonderful. It sure is. Are you born again? Yes, sir. Do you smoke? Yes, sir. I was afraid of that. You can't smoke anymore. Ow, oh. thou nicotine spirit. I command you never crave it again. Say, oh, God. Oh, God. I renew my covenant with you. I renew my covenant with you. I'll never smoke again. I'll never smoke again. Thanks for healing my husband. Thanks for healing my husband. I agree with this preacher. I agree with this preacher. That he will get all right. That he will get all right. So and come I'll... in, Jesus. Come in. Come in, Jesus. Woo! Come in. Yeah, he's with you. <laughs> Amen. Woo! Glory to God. We have agreed for you to get well, fella. Neighbor, nobody's ever loved you like Jesus loves you. Nobody's ever cared like 